I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. This one's wife. It's your fault. You don't see the kids. Archie and Lilibet, the two children of Harry and this one's wife, a subject that evokes strong reactions from many people. There are those that are adamant that there are no children and that the two children that have appeared intermittently in occasional snippets of film and photographs are actually children belonging to other people that have been hired to create the image that the Sussexes have children. There are others that maintain that the children do exist, but they were born through surrogacy. There are others who believe that this one's wife was indeed pregnant and gave birth to the two children. Wherever you might sit on that spectrum of views about the children, one thing is indisputable. They're not seen very often at all. We had the picture of Lilibet apparently sat on the lawn on her birthday. There has been a family picture that was produced at Christmas, which many people speculated was photoshopped. We've seen bits of footage in the Harry and This One's Wife documentary. There was the July the 4th picture. There's been the odd picture around, I think it was Halloween, of them walking down the street, which was purportedly them. But glowing family portraits are few and far between. Instances of being seen out and about with the children also are few and far between. When Harry complained about not going cycling with his dad, even though that did happen, you'd have thought that he would take the opportunity to be out and about with the children, and that would mean that there would be some pictures of him playing on the beach, perhaps with them, taking Archie cycling around the streets in Monte Shitcho. Given the protestations that this one's wife issues about family being so important, how much she loves being a mother, you would anticipate that there might be more pictures of her taking the children to various events, that when she is regularly papped, as she so enjoys doing, that she would ensure that the children might also be seen with her, so she, she can demonstrate, look, I'm being a mother. As I've explained previously, it's highly likely that the reason that the children aren't seen is because she doesn't want to be upstaged by them in two respects. One, simply attention, fuel, going to them rather than her. And secondly, the likelihood that she's not particularly competent when it comes to paternal skills, with the possibility that they would be disobedient, which would threaten her control in public, which would make it doubly problematic. That's the most likely reason why the children aren't seen, is that they pose a threat to her control, and therefore her narcissism causes her to keep them hidden away. Nevertheless, that is not something, of course, that she knows, can admit to, or would even do so even if she were furnished with that knowledge. And in actual fact, it's all of you that are at fault as to why the children aren't seen. Did you know that? Yes, in another piece of unsurprising blame-shifting, Town and Country, another supine publication, has been utilised as the vessel and the conduit to convey this piece of news to let all of you know that the reason why the children are rarely seen is as a consequence of you. You see, apparently, all of you present too great a threat. Apparently, you, hordes of middle-aged white women ready to wield tomatoes, are such a spectacular threat to the Sussexes that they simply cannot risk travelling with the children. Mm-hmm. That's right. You rabid hordes of swivel-eyed, foam-flecked mouth, bigoted haters are the reason why the Sussexes can't go anywhere with their children. Did you all know that? Hang your heads in shame. Disgusting behaviour. Despicable. Go and stand in the corner. Go and think about what you've done. And this is the clear impression that this one's wife and Harry have generated because in this puff piece from Emily Burrock, Prince Harry and this one's wife wanted to bring Lily and Archie to the United Kingdom just before Queen Elizabeth's death. Bullshit. Apparently, that's what they wanted to do, but they couldn't. Here's why. 
In a ruling handed down by the UK's High Court, Prince Harry lost his case arguing for police protection when he's back in his home country. He plans to appeal the decision, with a legal spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex saying the Duke's case is that the so-called bespoke process that applies to him is no substitute for that risk analysis. Buried in the 51-page ruling were details of Harry and this one's wife's visit to NYC in May 2023, wherein the NYPD said they were, in fact, dangerously chased by paparazzi. See parts pass him as to why that was really just a security staging. But also of note, in the document, are details surrounding all of Prince Harry's trips to the UK since he and this one's wife relocated to California, including their trip in September 2022, which was initially to visit with several charities close to their hearts, but turned into a much longer stay following the death of Queen Elizabeth. The ruling reveals that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex hope to bring their two children, Archie and Lilibet, along with them for the trip, but the decisions Ravek made prevented them in doing so. Ravek stands for the Royal and VIP Executive Committee, coordinates security between the Royal Household, the Metropolitan Police, and the Home Office. So, Ravek's decisions with regard to security meant that they couldn't bring them because clearly they weren't going to extend them sufficient security. On page 24, the document reads, The Home Office had been notified on 3rd of August 2022 that the claimant and his wife and children would be visiting the United Kingdom between the 2nd and 11th of September 2022. The itinerary did not, redacted text. On 10th of August 2022, Ravek met to decide what protective security, if any, should be provided. A letter outlining Ravek's decision was sent to the private secretary to the sovereign since the request for protective security had come through the royal household. The letter of the 12th of August was from the chair of Ravek to Sir Edward Young. It explained that, redacted text. In response, Prince Harry and this one's wife's team wrote to say that the proposed security arrangements for the September visit were not lawful and that, redacted text, was plainly inadequate. Accordingly, what this states is, the security was not adequate enough for the Sussexes to bring their children, which ultimately meant they travelled to the UK sans Archie and Lilibet. I don't believe this for a second. Quite simply, this one's wife and Harry weren't going to bother bringing the children. They rarely do. Look at how many times they've travelled since and the children are nowhere to be seen. The fact is, once again, they were utilising that as an excuse to try and get security. Oh, well, given that you're not going to provide us with appropriate security to the level that we believe we should have as a consequence of being thoroughly self-entitled, we're now not bringing the kids. So there. And um, we can't bring the kids, of course, because it's all of them out there. The hordes, the great unwashed, the rabble. And thus, valuable viewers, it's clearly inferred that the problem is all of you. That if you could behave yourself, there wouldn't be a problem with regard to security, which means they could bring the children. It's got nothing to do with the fact that they use the children as an excuse to try and get the taxpayer to pay for their security, even when they didn't intend to bring the children at all. Their subsequent behaviour evidences that. They will, of course, argue, well, the reason we don't bring the children is because the security arrangements are inadequate. Well, use your own money. If you care that much about the children and you care that much about, for instance, the children having a relationship with the British members of the family, use your own money to cover the security rather than poncing off a country that you no longer have anything to do with and a country that you repeatedly criticise and a royal family that you allege is full of systemic racism that you so bravely tackled, meaning you had to go and obtain a bought-for award. Hmm? The fact is, there was never any intention to bring Lilibert and Archie, that is just a convenient excuse, and is utilised to allege that there are all of these people who wish to do the Sussexes harm. In actual fact, most people, whilst they dislike them, would never go so far as to actually do that, because people aren't that interested in them. And, of course, if this one's wife was so concerned about security, why does she keep lowering the window when she's in a car, 
Well, we know why. Because she's not bothered about security. She's more concerned about being seen so that she can shed her rictus grin to all those watching and drink in the fuel by ensuring that she's noticed. It's an attempt to blame shift, and it's an attempt to ensure that the security is paid for by other people to enable this one's wife and Harry to continue their self-entitled poncing off the taxpayer. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.